Welcome for a new episode of The Art of Us. I've gathered for you a top 3 of the best fan arts from The Last of Us. Don't forget to share your creation mentioning this hashtag if you want to get featured. Let's jump right into it. Here's the June 2020 selection. On third position, we have a beautiful artwork by Isabel Fernandez Gomez named No Temo al Mal. Isabel is an artist from Spain that specializes in traditional and digital techniques. She made this cover for the Games Tribune magazine. Let's discover it from up close. This portrait is called No Temo al Mal Porque Soy Ciega a Él which is a Spanish translation of Through the Valley by Sean James. It means, I fear no evil because I'm blind to it all, which could not be more true. Ellie's expression here is deadly. She is walking through the valley of death. She is the reaper, deciding who gets to live and who does not. She seeks a vengeance that will surely awaken her greatest fear, being left alone. On the other hand, we have Joel. He has changed too. Now wiser than before, he knows he's guilty. He feels ashamed. Forgiveness is all he's asking for. The style used here is very realistic. The dark tones and the dramatic lights really capture their feelings and distinct personalities. The colors are faithful to The Last of Us universe, with sunset lighting and shadowy green vibes. They're together, yet they're afar. They find one another through their past memories, yet they're alone. Will they be strong enough to stay united despite their rights and wrongs? Or will loneliness arise? On second position, we have a very dynamic artwork of Ellie by Maria Laura, better known as La Melicacu. She is an artist from Brazil, heavily influenced by video games and anime. She likes to explore the feeling of being immersed in nature. Let's get right inside this action sequence. There's a lot of movement in this piece. We follow Ellie at the heart of the forest. She's immersed in a beautiful scenery full of life with leaves, twigs and trees while something way less beautiful is happening. She's being chased. She's armed and running. This is her routine. Day and night, all she does is survive. There is so much light and so many different shades of green and brown. The blurry parts do increase the sensation of movement. Her clothes and her hair are flowing with the wind. She is very alert. Her body goes one way, while her eyes go another. It reminds me of a hunt, except that this time we're the predator, but also the prey. It's truly breathtaking. And our winner in first position is... Miriam Salib with her deep and dark representation of Ellie. Miriam is a storyboard and concept artist from Italy. She loves to portray people and fictional characters in many different styles. Her main objective is to convey to its observers what the portrait character really feels. Let's delve into this mysterious artwork. The first things I see are her eyes. You just can't escape her gaze. You're looking at her while she's looking back at you. It's almost hypnotizing. Just like the abyss or the mirror of ourselves. And her expression is sad. Like she's been deceived by someone. Or by herself. I can also feel an unstoppable strength in her eyes. She knows she's about to make a terrible mistake, something she will deeply regret. But she's still going. The brush strokes on her hair, close and on the background, leave a blur. Some kind of distance, almost phantomatic, that makes us focus even more on her gaze. The chosen colors are very pale. There's not much life in it. The main atmosphere is very dark. She's almost hidden in darkness, but there's still hope. The soft light is still shining on her face. Deep down, she's still the Ellie we used to know. 
That's the end of this episode of The Art of Us. Please go and check out these amazing artists. Right next to me you can see a sample of different designs they made. You'll find a link to their social media in the description down below. If you're an artist yourself, don't hesitate to share your own fan art on The Last of Us 2. Contact at landerproduction.org. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys on my next video.